Then you will look at propaganda of one chap. He gave his excellency, Brother Mamuru Bawiapo. Then you will look at propaganda of one chap. He gave Solomon Borpo. Propaganda and balance to 2020, he gives us a little 2024. Propaganda of my disaster. You knew Benema. You knew Benema. Is that a young woman? Mohon Salah, you remember that two and a half years ago, the Sajan. So, then that you open up the bar and come by. I will wonder what is he doing, but now we're from Ghana. We're from Mogadan. Labour in 1992, we're in 2016. You know what the boy I want now? Libya moved, but who did the electricity? From 1992 to about 2016, the people are picking a Yenubu quite more than the Now, his excellency, Dr. Mabu Bawia, Nana MP for the second time, to go to Ghana. From 2017 to about 2021, the people are picking up the Bobo Mutina. When I go to the Sakatu, the Daniel State, when I put it in a second, as soon as I'm going to answer the man of state, so what he was there for you, so much, 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 you want to go to the boy, 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 you Tu es un homme qui est 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 un Imminent, no party, the two to the boy Jan Kigaliabel. What do you want me to have it? What do you want me to have it? What is the good and bad to the map? What did I get now? What would I say? King the criminality about what do you know? You look at that. Minati like Tresa, 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 and Ambassador to Lugu. So, Dinna, Balum Bada, the company campaign and follow for no one. Tamba, we are, you say, is that what happened in the back? King the Tegana. Maman, <laughs> So you people
the pump will tell me, he did my bagger, one more than one Okay. So, Molana, if it's a group of people who are in the forum, I'm going to go to the forum. I'm going to go to the forum. Before, right, I saw it will pass that one. So, show what it is when I do not wait to come back. Pull the young boy, Jan Namitic, MPP, Governor Tillin, Zaman, and Namitic Ghana. Since then, the man that I got to submit him, you don't want to ask for some police, so as I immigration, fire service, Cleban Banas and Vienna, who take his excellency Waller. Kete MP, kiki wa abuna, usande, jamba, ambrus, dairy, umetin sikini na idwa ni poma. Umba wa upanga, umba wa upanga, umwa la, na zinzanga man, uyamu boi jam kumbie ki, gana, na tume ba upanga, biyewe, ona bulu Mustafa Yusuf, one day sports minister, sports minister gana bulu. My sister, Honorable Hajia Larba, MP for where one of you put in signature, Tony Pumper. Kubuga, Saban Fangamba, Saban Fangamba, one girl clearly doing it. Many to the door TV thing we jam. One day MP for Dombi for Minya, Honorable Sarah Ajua Safu, Tony Pumper. Tell me about the campaign manager. Tell me the campaign manager says he's going to run. We need to take MPA. Big Ben, we don't want to wait. Jan, we better ride the pal the number and gun. King and gun rover. Now get a nick. Now then now he says he's going to run. We are going to do it. 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 Susanna, hello. One day, you be at the center of the kitchen of Bali, where we are going to have something to enjoy. The movie of what? The you are honourable regional minister. We are going to be. We are going to be able to go to Bali, but we are going to be able to go to Bali. We are going to be proud of him. He is honourable regional minister. Honourable Yidana Zakaria. Throw the bomb, throw the bomb. The movie of what? The Sister, we have been trying. We send them. Sister, Pepe Chua, Robert, to. It's not the problem. We're going to put. Throw the problem. Throw the problem. Throw the problem. To be able to, Nasir Fagna, be one of the most popular players in the world. I have, I have been playing for many years. Two carrels, three. Two carrels, three. We're going to see who's going to win. Honorable Dominic, Nitu. Honorable Dominic, Nitu. Tell me what to do. One of us said, "Boy, you, you, the night you tell us, boy, you, you, self, the phone we turn, you remember, you remember, you remember, you remember." Tell me what, doctor, doctor, Agnes, we tell you, my baby, pay the gift to pay now, but doctor Agnes, the phone we turn, now we back in minute one or two time now. When the cable yak, we better swap the motion. You. You can be sure, you can be sure, you can be sure. Eh? Honorable Saful Saeed, former regional minister, Lord in Rigi, the poor way, Jan. Timunga was sister Amal Fri Poma, the Jia person, the Jia person, manifesto committee, employment and social welfare. He told the poor man, who told my Yemi Pa, Lawyer Amal Fri Poma, God be with you. Very astute young lady. I'm very proud of you. So, Give me a word, I said. What I now give me a word, honorable lawyer. I said, Tapuri, empty, we shall go away. Little we had, we were better to see it. And you were better. I am twenty book, and then we were twenty book, twenty book, or you'll see that. Then I can buy you no salary. So, when the big killer on Bacafarama, eh? Big killer on Bacafarama, the Bene, Morana, Tabu, Babu, and Morana, Cuba. I will find a team like that to find in Ghana and the whole world. To one who vision, who are damn it, damn it, and back again, Ghana. 
Vous mettez ce que vous avez dit. Vous avez dit que vous avez dit Alaji, Mahmoudou, Baoumia, on va te signer. Et ça, you know, on va te parler. Ah, on va te signer. Donc, Mahmoudou, Baoumia, tu peux me parler à toi. Non, 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 je parle de Mathieu, je suis sur le monde de la élection 2024. Quand tu es en bas, 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 tu es en tu es en bas, tu es en bas, tu es nous avons il a dit que nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Il a dit que nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Il a dit que nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Il a dit que nous sommes en train de nous faire un peu de temps. Il a dit que nous sommes en train On the 7 December, it's a garden. Doctor Mahmoud, but we are your power president. If you show us the power, you will be able to have an affair. Let them know you will be able to have an affair. Then, 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 Doctor Mahmoud, but we are star. We are strong, we are star. You know, they are our cat. Come on, come on, come on, At this moment. Let's welcome His Excellency, the incoming President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Al Haj Mahmoud Bahoumia. Let's give him a round of applause. 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 Let's give him a round of Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Busia, I'm so happy to be home today. Today is the first day of my campaign across every constituency for the De December 2024 election. I come to you today as the presidential candidate of the new patriotic party the first time that the new patriotic party has elected somebody from the northern part of ghana to become the president of the republic of ghana 
So when I decided after adoring my running mate yesterday to begin my campaign, I decided to start from home. And this is why I am home today to begin my campaign. But why did the new patriotic party elect me in this historic election to become the presidential candidate? There is just one explanation and that is competence and that is achievement, that is innovation. That is ideas. That is generational thinking. If you look at the support that I have given our president, Nanado Danko Akufuado, you will see that the MPP had a good reason to choose me. I have since 2010, I wrote a book in 2010. This is before I became vice president. And I said that Ghana needed to start thinking about the future, about the youth, about the fourth industrial revolution. We needed to start preparing Ghana to take Ghana forward into the fourth industrial revolution. And that is why I said that we should not think that we cannot become like the advanced countries. We should not think that we cannot become like the US or Canada or the UK or Singapore or Dubai. We can become like them. It is possible. It is possible. And we just have to make sure that we do the right things to make it happen. And if you want to go into the fourth industrial revolution, you have to put certain things in place. And I said that digitalization was one of the ways that Ghana is going to get ready for the fourth industrial revolution. And that is why I insisted and I championed on the issuance of the Ghana card. Today, we have been able to issue almost 18 million Ghana cards in Ghana. When we came into office, less than 1 million Ghana cards had been issued from 2008. And today, Ghana has done something that not even the United Kingdom or the United States has been able to do so far. So we are moving. I said that Ghana needed a digital address system. And we put in a Ghana property address system, the digital addresses. Every part of Ghana, village or town, has a digital address. Every hut, every house, every part of Ghana today has a digital address. And we have been able to do this. We are the only, the second country in the whole world with a wholesale digital address system. That is Ghana for you. Then I said we needed to go into financial inclusion to make sure everybody has access to financial services. Everybody has access to a bank account. And this is why I advocated mobile money interoperability. Today, you can send money from Vodafone or Telecel to MTN or to Airtel Tigo. Before, you couldn't do that. Isn't that the case? Before, you couldn't send money from MTN to Vodafone or to Tigo. You could only send money to another person who had MTN or another person who had Vodafone. So I said, let us do mobile money interoperability so that you can send money across networks and also send money between a bank account and a Momo account. It had never been done in Africa. And Ghana is the first country to do mobile money interoperability of that nature in the whole of Africa. The whole of Africa. We are the first country to do so. And this is why Ghana today is the fastest growing mobile money market in Africa. And Ghana today is number one in Africa in terms of financial inclusion. The whole of Africa, we are number one. If you don't have money account is because you don't want one but if you want one tomorrow you can get one and you can send money across networks and through bank accounts we move from from that and today 
we have made sure that everybody can renew their national health insurance card or enroll into national health insurance on their mobile phone. Isn't that the case? Today, it's very easy to enroll on national health insurance on your mobile phone. And so we are moving this country into a regime where we are making it very easy to access. We use the Ghana card and we've eliminated ghost workers from our pay payroll in the Controller and Accountant General Department. We have saved over 700 million Ghana cities by eliminating ghost workers from the payroll using the Ghana card. So digitalization is helping us for the future, saving us money uh, and, and all of that. Beyond digitalization, of course, I have helped with many other policies. Zongo Development Fund, one constituency, one ambulance. You, you've seen these policies come into play. Agenda 111 was another idea I brought to the table. We have Sinohydro um, roads for bauxite uh, facility. We have brought it. That brought the Tamale interchange and many other facilities across Ghana. So it is because of all of this that the new patriotic party decided to elect me as the presidential candidate. And they have elected me and I happen to come from the northeast region of Ghana. We have not spent the money meant for northern development haphazardly or recklessly. We have used resources to develop the north. Unlike my opponent, you know my opponent, the former president, when it was his time to use resources to develop the north, what was he doing? He formed Sada and was rearing guinea fowls and they were flying to Burkina Faso. They were flying to Burkina Faso. He said he used the money to plant trees. We asked him where were the trees. He said fire had burnt all the trees. You can't find the, you can't find the guinea fowls and you can't find the trees. And today he wants to come back. Do you want him to come back? No. Do you want him to come back? No. Today he says when they come back they are going to be rearing lions and elephants. <laughs> Lions and elephants. That is not serious thinking. We have serious thinking. And this is why we created the Northeast region. We have created the Northeast region and we are benefiting from the creation of the Northeast region. By tomorrow, I will, I will uh, commission the headquarters of the feeder roads in Bunkrugu here, which has been completed. That is a major benefit of the Northeast region that we have. The Northeast today, under the MPP, when we came into office from independence to 2017, we had only seven secondary schools, seven. After 60 years of independence, only seven. But after eight years, of the MPP, we are going to have almost 11 senior secondary schools in addition, in addition. But I know that Bunkurugu has a major problem. Yes, we have done the Agenda 111, but Bunkurugu wants to see the road from Bunkurugu to Nalerugu all done. Isn't that a case? Yes. Isn't that a case? Yes. Well, I also want to see the road from Bunkurugu to Nalerugu all done. And I want to see the work start before this election. And I want to assure you that this month, not next month, this month, 
the contractor on the road is going to come and start the work from Pukuru to Nalegu. It is possible. The chief told me that we should make sure they start from here to Niger number one, which is the biggest uh, challenge for, for us. And I think that is where we are going to get them to start. But we, that road is a very important road from Bunkugu to Nalerugu, and we are going to get it started. We will finish the Agenda 111 Hospital, but I know that Bunkugu also needs, at Bunkugu Nakanduru District, you need a tertiary institution here. You need a tertiary institution here. And so we are going to see the best one to bring whether it's a campus of a university or a teacher training college. But when I am president, you will get a tertiary institution in Bungrugu, Napanduri district. It's very, very important for our, the growth in terms of our, you know, uh, students. We need that tertiary institution right here. Thankfully, John Bahama Council teacher training allowances. We have restored teacher training allowances. The Council nursing training allowances. We have restored nursing training allowances. Do you want him to come back? No. Do you want him to come back? No. We knew that our people are poor, especially in the north, and we pushed to introduce free senior high school education and free senior high school education. When we were bringing it, we had all sorts of opposition about it. The NDC told us that free SHS was 419. Isn't that what they said? Yes. John Mahama said if he has 2 billion Ghana cities, he will not spend it on free SHS. Isn't that what he said? Yes. But we persisted we knew we could do it and we knew it was important so we have done free senior high school education we have increased the number of students from 800,000 to 1.4 million students under free shs my brothers and sisters just think about it for 60 years after independence 60 years the total student population under free SHS was 800,000 after 60 years but in just seven years of the MPP government we have added 600,000 students under free SHS 600,000 60 years 800,000 seven years 600,000 and what is even more important is that now in senior high school there are more girls than boys in senior high school there are more girls than boys in senior high school in 2016 for every hundred girls uh, every hundred boys there were 68 girls today for every hundred boys there are 106 girls and that is good for ghana is very good for Ghana and the performance of the students is going up and up and up in 2016 the best six core subjects core subjects and the WATSI, the pass rate was 45 percent last year the pass rate was 64 percent so we are improving performance and expanding access and opportunity but if it was John Mahama, would we have had free SHS? Would we have had free SHS? No! Today, he is pretending that uh, he actually brought free SHS. Can you imagine? <laughs> Unbelievable. And so, we are proud. And I am committed to making sure that free SHS will continue when you vote me to become president of the Republic of Ghana. So I want you to support me. Fundamentally, fundamentally, we want to do some major things in Ghana. We want to focus and invest in agriculture. I want to move Ghana from a dependence on uh, fuel in terms of 
oil and gas to generate electricity to a dependence on solar power. Ghana should move and use solar power to generate electricity. The sun has been given us to us for free by, by the Almighty God. We are going to generate 2,000 megawatts of solar power, more than half our consumption, and we'll deal with the problem of the cost of fuel, the cost of electricity in Ghana if we move to solar power and that is where my government is going to move this country to solar power for all of us to enjoy. We are going to make sure that the import duty regime uh, changes. We are close to the border so we know about the import duty regime. We are going to make sure that the import duties in Ghana are flat rates in cities. So if you are bringing in a container of spare parts, it will be clearly stated that that container, for example, you have to pay 10,000 cities or 20,000 cities. It is not going to change dependent on the exchange rate. It will be in cities. So it's a flat rate system that I am bringing. The second um, policy that I'm bringing is to make sure Ghana's import duty cannot be higher than Togo's import duty. We are going to align Ghana's import duty with Togo's import duty so that our import duty with Togo will be less or the same. And that means that there will be no need for anybody to smuggle through Togo into Ghana because Ghana will have lower or the same import duty as Togo. We are going to focus on job creation. I know the youth is about jobs, and we are going to focus on job creation, bringing new growth pools, tourism, the creative arts, sports, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing. This is where we are going to create a lot of jobs from agriculture, and we are going to move. I'm going to make Ghana a digital hub in Africa. We are already at the forefront of digitalization in Africa, and we want to improve that. We are giving all our students in senior high school a tablet for free. All our senior high school students are going to get a tablet for free. We want to educate our people. And all persons with disabilities are going to go to tertiary education for free. All persons with disabilities will go for free to, to tertiary education. So we have major, major policies that we are bringing. And very soon, our manifesto is going to come out. But we are really looking to empowering the private sector, empowering the youth. This is where we are going to create a lot of jobs. Empowering the private sector, empowering the youth, empowering the small-scale miners. In the north now, we have a lot of gold. We have to empower our small-scale miners to mine responsibly and not destroy the environment. So I am very, very happy that I am here today. And I want you to think about one thing. I am seeking to be president. John Mahama has been president before. I have not been president before. I have only been the vice president. And as a vice president, everybody accepts that Dr. Baumia is the best vice president in the history of Ghana. Everybody accepts that. That Dr. Baumia is the best vice president in the history of Ghana. I can tell you at least 33 policies that I have brought into this government. 33 policies that we are working with, that are making a big difference. If you ask your mama to mention one policy he implemented as vice president, he cannot tell you. One, I can mention 33. So the score is 33-0. <laughs> so if you go for an exam with somebody and you score 33 and they saw zero, do you want to promote the one who scored zero or you want to promote the one who scored 33? It's 33. So I have passed the exam as vice president. Promote me to become president. It's 33 zero. He cannot compete. He cannot compete. <laughs> uh, I, I am looking forward. I am looking forward to a debate 
with your Mahama on the economy, on the economy, on the country, on the governance. <laughs> but I'm afraid that he's running away from a debate, isn't it? His people say he doesn't want to debate. I have never had an opposition leader who doesn't want to debate. But he doesn't want to debate because he knows I will expose the emptiness of his policies. He says he has a 24-hour economy that he cannot...